So you saw this effect on your Instagram feed and you're thinking, what kind of Harry Potter Patronus charm effect is this, bro? Fear not, my friend, because man's done the research and development thing. Let's fucking go. But before you get all excited and download the preset below or find the project files, you need to watch this video. Otherwise, you won't know what the fuck to do with the effects. Firstly, the way this works is we use a variety of effects to get this glowy outline look. And then we use an extract to get the scanning effect. And guess what? You can do this whole thing in either Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects as they both have the same effects. So we have our shot here on the timeline. And the first thing that you need to do is like this video because I spent a whole day figuring this out. <laughs> Duplicate the shot by holding alt or option and dragging up and then we change the blend mode to screen we're then going to add the effect find edges and invert it and also make sure this blend is set to zero percent this is the base of our effect but let's add some color add an effect called tint and map white to the chosen color of your glow don't worry you can change this later leave matte black to black now let's make it glow the free way is to use vr glow making sure to check use tint color and making it the same as the above tint i will start with these settings for luma threshold rayness and brightness but depending on your shot you may want to play with them now if you want to get it exactly like the example at the beginning i use an effect called optical glow by red giant the glowing effect is so much more punchier and more realistic so these are my settings for it however this plugin can set you back some money a lot of money however if you can't afford it you can get it for free by going to www Next, we add our turbulent displacement effect, which will make our outlines more of a textury, electric-y look. But if you get to this GPU acceleration error, just place this above VR Glow. With the default settings, if you increase the amount, we get massive waves, and we don't want that. We want small little waves. So we drop the size to something between 10 and 30, I did 20, and now we can play with the amount. I would keep it very subtle though, something like 90 is a good amount. Finally, we add the extract effect. This removes parts of the image that are black or white this effect gives us our scanning animation however we need to drag this effect to the top before all the other effects otherwise it won't work properly then we set the softness to zero which will remove all of this noisy shit and now you can play about with the animation however in the preset below i set the black level to zero and keyframed an increase in the white levels towards the end of the animation i just add an opacity keyframe to go from 100 to zero and here we have our effect bonus tip if you want a color change you can actually drag the tint to the far bottom after all of the effects add a keyframe to map white to and choose two different colors and boom these effects are actually better to be used in combination with other effects like this sliding car effect which you can actually check out in this video here this and all my project files are available on my patreons links below and with that being said i'll see you in the next video